is live and news coming out of Israel. Pope Francis reported on Israel National News condemns barbaric ISIS uh, attacks on the Syrian border there. He actually visited Turkey recently and was proclaiming that there needs to be a new religious dialogue. Of course, he's always saying this, uh, trying to bring all the religions of the world together. And of course, quite interesting that it's already been stated that anywhere the Pope goes, the land is conquered. So we see that Turkey is conquered, which is against the Jewish people and all other nations that he has visited, Jordan as well, against the people of Israel. And of course, Israel has their own issues going on. In fact, Pre Prime Minister Netanyahu is actually stating that it appears that they may have to take and do an early uh, vote there and dissolve the government, do early elections there in, in Israel there. Um, also, Gadi uh, Ezenkot will be named the next IDF Chief of Staff in Israel. Uh, all kinds of things that are taking place there. Uh, and a female officer, police officer, was ran over by a, a terrorist in Israel. Uh, the attack reported on Israel National News states here that a young cop was run over in Beit Yam trying to arrest an uh, employee of pro soccer team who was committing sex crimes in a jeep. Uh, disturbing new details have emerged about an, uh, this incident Thursday in which a young female police officer was run over, the, the article says here, uh, over in uh, Bethlehem, uh, while trying to arrest the driver committing sex crimes who turns out to be employee of the professional soccer team in the Israeli league. The suspect's identity was uh, revealed on Friday as Ofer uh, Sabari, the manager of the Hopel Pita Tikva soccer team, the 19-year-old traffic officer who, was, uh, who has been on the force for a year and a half sustained moderate wounds, including a broken pelvic bone uh, from the incident after being hit by the Jeep, which, uh, uh, which fled the scene and was later stopped by police in, two, in a two-hour chase. Uh, interesting things that are happening there. Also, coming uh, out of Israel, uh, Jordanians are protesting against uh, the dangerous Jewish state law. This is amid already tensions going all over through the Middle East there. Uh, and there were two that were killed during uh, Islamist uh, protest in Egypt. Uh, Egypt has a buffer zone uh, collapse during the, the, the Gazan economy and uh, just a, an array of issues that are happening there in Israel. So anyway, keep us in prayer here as we try to bring you the news out of Israel. And also, we are working on trying to bring you Israeli news live in a live format. So we'll be, we're working behind the scenes on that to where we will be, hopefully in the next uh, 30 days here, we'll have that up and going for you where you will be able to tune in daily and listen to the news broadcast live as well as see it here on YouTube or on our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. And also remember, if you happen to take any photos yourself of news that is related to Israel or uh, other interesting things around the world that would affect Israel, Jews that are being persecuted or protest against Israel, things of this nature, and would like to share those with us here at IsraeliNewsLive.org, you can submit those photos. Just go to our, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. There is a contact information there. Just click on that. Let us know you've got a photo you'd like to share, that it's an original photo, and we will watermark that uh, with IsraeliNewsLive.org and your name if you so choose to, uh, to reveal that. And we certainly thank you to be able to have the right and permission to use the photos that you're taking. God bless you. I'm Stephen Vindanen with Israeli News Live. Shalom.